Hi everyone, this is a tutorial from dwvlconcepts.com. In this tutorial today, we will learn how to implement a constant based loading or a target load ordering in SAP data services. In this particular data flow, we have a source XML file. This XML file contains a list of menu item and the ingredients used for that particular item. Over here, the menu which is at the header level and we have the ingredient corresponding to a particular menu item in a restaurant at a detail level. So in this particular example, we want to load two target tables, one for the master record, having the menu item ID, the menu item name, the description of the menu and the price and a detail table which will contain the menu item, what is the menu item and what are the ingredients used to prepare those items. So over here we have used a source XML file followed by a query transform. Next we have unnested with sub schema. So all this becomes now unnested and we will get a denormalized output of the data. So it will have the menu and the ingredients in a denormalized fashion. Next we use two flows, one to populate the master and one to populate the detail. Let's check the master flow first. In this master query transform, we have selected the item ID, the item name, the description of the item, price and the number of ingredients used to prepare this item. Over here, we have used the count of the extract name because it contains the name of the ingredient. So we are taking a count of the name and group by on the item, item name description and price. Next we check the detail flow. Over here we are using a ID which is the primary key of the ingredients based on the item ID. So this is the this corresponds to the master key of the master record. So that is the item ID. Correspondingly for every group we are generating a sequence number using the function generate row number by group. Let's call it ingredient ID followed by the item name and the ingredient name and we populate to this master table and correspondingly the detail table. So now over here this is how our master table will look like. It contains the menu and its detail and the detail level will look like the ingredients corresponding to each of the menu. So let's say this menu is uh, 2, it has the corresponding line items, 3 line items, that's why the count of the ingredients is 3 and for this one you can see the count of the ingredients as 12. Now our purpose was to load the master records first before loading the detail record. So in this case how we configure this, we go to the target and in the options we check the transaction control. Include in transaction we set to yes and the transaction order is set to 1. Next in the second target that is the detail level. Similarly we have included in this target table in transaction and the transaction order is set as 2. So in this way we can implement a constant based loading and in any cases where the load order is very important within a same data store if we want to load one table first and the second table in a particular order, we can include those table in a transaction and then correspondingly followed by the transaction number or the ordering. And for individual data stores, we can group them separately. So let's consider these two belong to a same data store. If we have two more target tables belonging to a different data store, we can also sequence them in the fashion of the order they are going to load. So that's much uh, how to implement uh, constraint based loading or target load order in SAP data services. If you have any questions, please visit dwbiconcepts.com. Thank you.